what you do on the web is put things there and then try and put security around them. So on Facebook, you'll set passwords, you'll set permissions so only your friends can see your photographs. So it's part of the deal. You're getting free blogging software, you're getting free service base, you're getting free upload software. That's what Facebook gives you. And the deal is you get advertised at. What I suggest is don't put anything on Facebook that you wouldn't want to have completely public. The thing you've got to realize about cybercrime, it's the same as normal crime. 80% of it's absolutely opportunistic. Setting safe passwords, making sure your passwords aren't words that are in the dictionary is a good start. Using antivirus, make sure your antivirus is up to date. Staying away from dodgy websites. They're just basic things that everybody can do. Key thing with personal handsets is they are always leaking out information. So I would suggest turning off your Wi-Fi when you don't need it, turning off your location uh, data when you don't need it. When you install an app, have a look through, see what permissions it's trying to get, see whether it's trying to get access to your location, your contacts book. For a start, you can just not install it and say no. But even if it does want access to those things, you can sometimes in the settings say, well, actually, only give access to my location when I'm using uh, uh, the app. Um, and surprisingly, I got fantastic feedback. People were really interested in this piece. Even though I didn't think I was revealing anything massively new, people were really impressed by it, because suddenly they got to see inside the phone. They said, I knew, I knew, they said, I knew the phone was doing something. Because when I'm not using it, the battery runs out. Why is that? Yeah, that's why, that's why it is. Yes. I think the victims are perfectly clear in this situation. It's the ordinary schmoes who go out and buy the phones and write out the box. Those phones are having conversations with companies you've never heard of, in countries you've never been to, and you don't know what they're saying. That does not feel to me like being an informed consumer.